thank you for Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. We bless your name. Open up our hearts to the blood of Jesus sanitize us. Oh, we didn't just want to hear. We want to be a doer. We want this word to do a work in our lives. In Jesus' name. Now, listen. Jesus Christ lives on the inside of us. Jesus Christ is not saved. We are saved. But we have to explain to everybody we are saved. <laughs> we have to tell people, Hey, how many Christians are in the room? Okay, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. That's not what we're talking about. You don't need to explain you're a Christian. If truly, the revelation of Jesus Christ is coming forth. By their fruit you shall know them, not by their words, not by their dressing. Dressing is important. Not by their saying fruit. How do you get fruit? You have to clear the land. When you clear the land, you check the soil, soil tested. Make sure it's the right soil. It conducive soil for what you want to sow there. There are soil that must be humus, clay, whatever it is. Make sure it's a good soil. Then put the seed there. Any seed you want. The seed of righteousness. The seed of holiness. The seed of peace. The seed of joy. That's what the servants should be doing in the life of God's children. So they might still be acting up right now. Put the seed of Jesus Christ in them. And what is the seed? Luke told us. The seed is the word of God. Unadulterated, incorruptible, powerful word of God. Put the seed of worship in them. Put the seed of love. Put the seed of giving. Put the seed of serving. Put the seed of going to the nations. Put the seed of purity. Put the seed of sincerity. Put the seed of mercy. Oh my God. Put the seed of just loving God. Put the seed of honor. All those seeds, sow it. And then begin to weed. Water it, water it, water it. Branosi talagadi so kapala. And tu la regede. Teach people how to pray. The water of life out of his belly. Water the seed through fasting and prayer. Keep seeding, keep seeding. And the seed began to grow. The Bible says, first the blade. So you begin to see people that two years ago, I know you. Man, you've changed. You've changed. What used to get you angry doesn't get you angry anymore. Now you can relate with people, you understand people, you know them at a different spiritual level. You can relate with them. You're not expecting everybody to be holy, like 100% just there. So you can relate with people at different levels. First the blade, then the corn, then the full corn in the air. And suddenly you just see people manifesting Christ. Then people begin to see the fruit by their fruit, which is as a result of the seed which is as a result of your management. You cut off the weed, off the weed, because white men slept. That's where we see, we see all kinds of funny things. Why people just relax. Why people go to the wrong place. Why they hear wrong messages. Why they are looking, why they are challenged. And out of being challenged, they, they, back, they backslide. They go backward. They seek for God where God is not. And the enemy used that opportunity to sow stuff into their lives. And the tears came out. And so, uh, and that's also going to wait for harvest here. But what we're looking for here is the nature and the character of Jesus Christ. Let me end up by saying this. The angel gave it unto his servant John. But John did not start this way. This was a man that he used to fight for position. Remember? Himself and his brother. They go to their mama. And say, Mama, we need you to go and meet with Jesus and worship him. Just kind of do a little worship. Jesus like worship. And while you finish worshiping, just ask Jesus, Hey, I got two, I got one request from you. Don't deny me. I want my sons to be on your left and your right. I mean, you saw John and James, but they did start this way. They were fishermen, raw fishermen. But look at where John is right now. He has changed. Literally, we can mistake. John for Jesus Christ. No wonder God is telling John, there's somebody in you that's now on you that will now be as you. This is John told us in John chapter 4, verse 16. He said, For as he is, so are we in this world. It does not matter what we shall be. We know when Christ shall come, first John chapter 2, we shall be. And anyone that has this hope in himself, purified himself 
It's a personal job that you have to do. Even as he is pure. Not winning fire of purification, which comes by your word and by the Holy Spirit. For the word of God is fire and it's a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces. Thank you for doing this in our lives. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.